Well, I'm kind of considered the primary cat giver. Um, I'm pretty much primarily responsible for finding where to put them, who can go with who, knowing their personality so that way when people do come in um, to adopt a cat, I can usually tell them who might be the best fit for them based on questions that I can ask them. So you're kind of like the matchmaker. <laughs> yes, yes. Matchmaker is probably a, a great way to describe me. I'm, I'm kind of the matchmaker. If they want to know, can they, do they get along with dogs? Do they get along with other cats? I'm usually the one that can tell them yes or no. We've gotten close to being under 100 um, a few times, but usually that's right about the time when kitten season hits. And when kitten season hits, which is twice a year, we get b bombarded. And so what happens if you run out of space? We make room. You don't we, run out of space. <laughs> we, we find a way to make room. Don't ask me how we do it. We just manage somehow, but that's one of the reasons why we are trying to get a nice fundraiser going so we can add on to the building. And people can come in to donate um, and have it specifically for the, bun the fundraiser, um, the building fund as we call it. Um, there's people that can buy bricks um, for $50 a pop that are um, engraved, which they can keep them or they can donate them here because they are going to be part of, um, I believe, a special wall uh, to commemorate it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely different events all all along until we can raise the money and of course we're we're doing everything we can to get the money we need because it's going to be a lot. Well they come in and fill out an application. Our three main criteria are if you live in the county um, we check our do not adopt you list. If you live out of the county we still check that county that they live in to see if they're not on the list. Um, we need to know whether or not they own or rent their home because um, we do have to check with landlords. Um, even if you're renting from family, we still need to make sure that whoever is the primary person of the household is okay with it. Um, and also if you have other pets in the household, most specifically with, for dogs and cats, um, because it's Indiana law that they have a rabies shot, we need to be able to um, verify through a vet that they are up to date and current. Well, the adoption fee for um, cats and kittens um, is normally 35 and dogs and puppies are 50